Hi everyone! So I got this super cute grip ring for a baby from Dear Leah. Go check out my Instagram video to see her DIY process as well. And yeah, isn't it super cute? And I'm gonna pack it today and I'm gonna make a shadow box for it. Um, yeah, this video is long overdue. So many people have asked for a, a long format shadow box tutorial and here we go! So to start, I'm measuring the length and the width of, of the grip ring and um, it'll be quite long so I think I'll kind of tug in the ears a little because it won't matter in the box. So this is about 13 centimeters, yeah that's it, 13 centimeters and the width, let's say six centimeters okay. and let's go over to shadow box planning so whenever i start planning a shadow box i start with the center of the box so i'm drawing like a rectangle and i know the length is what do we say 13 centimeters right 13 centimeters long and six centimeters wide okay so whenever you're planning a shadow box, you have to take in con into consideration the width of your frame. So I want it to be one centimeter wide. So I have to add one centimeter to each side of the frame because the frame will lie on top of your center rectangle and if I just take 13 centimeters and 6 centimeters then the frame will take away one centimeter and the box will be too small so I'm adding one centimeter here 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 I don't know if you can see this but yes here so I've added one centimeter everywhere which makes my starting frame not six centimeters but eight centimeters and the length is not 13 but 15 centimeters now so uh, always add twice the width of your frame to each side of your center square or rectangle next you'll need like the frame parts and the frame consists of four parts like the first one goes up over down and under and um yeah for that it's again important what type of frame do you want to do do you want it to be equal so one centimeter for each or in my case now i want the width to be one centimeter and the height or the, how high it is um it should be five centimeters high pardon my english and yeah, so we, yeah, well, this is my frame now, or my center square, and I add once, well, five centimeters is the first part because I want it to be five centimeters high. Then comes the one that, yeah, is parallel to, to the table, which is one centimeter because I want it to be one centimeter wide. Then again, five centimeters because this one goes down and then the one that goes under is again one centimeter. So I have five, one, five, one centimeters. And I just do the same thing for the side part. So again, here it's five centimeters, one centimeter, five and one. Five one five one. It looks a little bit messy, but it will make sense in a second, I promise. So yeah, um, technically we have to do this again here and here, so you have kind of a cross shape. But the thing is, it's quite large. I think it's the biggest shadow box I've ever done. So uh, um, I won't be able to fit it on my cardstock because it's only 40 or no only 30 centimeters in both directions so i think i'm gonna cut out 
this L shape, then create another L shape and then just glue them together at the bottom. So yeah, let's do that. So uh, I have 15 plus 5 is 20, 25, 6, 7, 27 in this. And this one's empty. 20 in this direction so 20 so i need an l shape that's 27 centimeter in length and 20 centimeter in width so let's do that let's get back to my amateur pattern and so i need an l shape and i need this the width of the long part of the l to be eight centimeters and i need to cut it down to here so 12 centimeters so i'm gonna mark eight centimeters here <clears throat> half centimeters here and 12 centimeters here I'm just gonna mark the um, meeting point of those two lines, which would be here. And now I can just connect those two points. Just like that. And then the other part is 12 centimeters. The other part is 12 centimeters as well, so. I'm gonna go from here maybe better this way see this is why I why this set square is very convenient because you have this line that gives you the right angle so now I can just align it with the line I just made and then get a perfect rectangular line here it only goes to 11 centimeters, but I can just add a centimeter here. No, oh, that's 12 centimeters, right. And the, the width of this L part is eight centimeters, no, 15 centimeters, because we calculated here. So um, it has to be 15 centimeters wide, this part of the L shape. So again, I'm going with my rectangular line down here I mark it down to 11 centimeters and then I just add four centimeters as well and then I just connect it here And that's my L shape and I haven't calculated it but I'm guessing and I really hope that this L shape that's created kind of the neg through the negative of this one might <laughs> might be the same as this one and I can just use it just like that um, but let's see I'm gonna cut this out now okay so unfortunately it doesn't fit my mistake um, I think it would have fit if I had drawn it from the other side, so if I'd started with the broader part, um, because then I would have had a bigger part here. But, well, I'll learn from my mistakes and do better next time. But for now, I just get another piece of cardstock and cut the same L shape out again. So I'm back and I've cut out two pieces, well, the second piece. Of the L shape so I've got two now I'm gonna just start with one I'm gonna start scoring the one five one five pattern on both sides I'm using my scoring tool for this but you can also do it with a set square or a ruler So I need to start scoring one centimeter. 
then five, so the next one is six centimeters. Then the next one is one again, so seven centimeters. And the next one is again five centimeters, so 12. Next, I'm going to do the other side or the slimmer part of the L. So. Five centimeters, one centimeter, and again five centimeter. Can't tell if you can see it yet, but you'll see in a second when I score it. Now I have a nice wall for my frame. And let's just do this with the other side as well. And now I have a nice frame here as well. And I'm just gonna repeat this with my, my other L shape. So now we need to bring these sides together and you see now it's it doesn't work because this is in the way. How do we get it out of the way is we cut out this um, yeah kind of wonky shape you've probably seen in my other videos. I'll show you how it's done. So how much space do we need to be to cut out here? It's the width of the frame, so this part. This part needs to fit in here, so we mark one centimeter in here. We mark one centimeter on the outer five centimeter part, and then we just connect it. And then we just cut the shape out. And now, let's see. Yes, now we can fit it inside here. And it holds up pretty nicely. Now we just have to do this on the other side as well. One centimeter here. Connect it to the other sides and like this. Now I can fit this one in here. Now I can just put both pieces together. by inserting these cutout parts into the non-cutout parts. And just like that, we have a nice high shadow box frame. And let's see. Yes, the bunny fits perfectly. And now we just need something to close our box. And here comes in my tendency to hoard everything that might or might not be 
uh, used as crafting material and um, yeah this is the back of a calendar and um, yeah I just using the this cardboard um, as um, yeah kind of a frame or a cover for for my shadow box so um, I'm gonna so I'm gonna measure the length and the width of the cardboard and I need it down here I need one here and then one on top so I need eight five eight centimeters actually I need a little bit more than that because I wanted to like go over the box a little or hang over the box a little so um yeah let's go for like nine six no, this one has to be the same. So nine, five and nine centimeters. So like this, I need the bottom. I need the side and the top. So I'm just, just gonna shorten it a little. And then mark the length, something like that. And then I can just um, just draw the line here and then cut it along this line. So cardboard is a little hard to cut. I know it's it's very very not good. For my hands it hurts but I'm gonna get through it mm. See, almost done usually when I crop like this and my brother's here I let him do the hard cutting because his hands are not inflammated like mine are <laughs> but I got it so now I have the right width and now I just just need to measure the how wide my my card well my boxes and I know it's eight centimeters right yes so I'm gonna go with nine let's go nine point five centimeters actually nine point five centimeters then five centimeters and then again 9.5 like this okay and then we can cut it I guess just measure one more time yes 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 so let's cut it next I'm using this super pretty design paper to kind of wrap this cardboard in because well this one's prettier than this one I did so I'm just putting some glue I'm not satisfied with my new glue bottle I have to say it's the glue is kind of creamy if that makes sense and it's very hard to get out not good for my hands and it's not that it's plugged, it's just really, yeah, creamy, as I said. Oh, it doesn't work now, so I'm gonna do something else. See the consistency? It's super weird and creamy. Anyway, I'm just gonna use it as a glue stick now. I'm sorry. You have to witness this, but it won't work otherwise, so yes. 
and it's cardboard so i think it's fine i won't use too much glue on it so yes there we go this that little small piece I'm going to keep a small gap, not a big one, but big enough so I can um, erect it later. And there you go. Okay. And now the last piece. Same thing here. I'm gonna leave a leave a small gap. This, and now I'm using my scoring tool, bone fold, to score between them. And I'm also gonna cut these shape, well, the, the corner shapes out so I can fold it over. Just here. And then I'll also need to cut a few triangles out here. And the side. I never get right to the edge of my cardboard. It needs to overhang a little. Yeah, I'm just gonna put some glue on those pieces. and fold them all over. Like this. And last but not least, the top part. So we can, yes, perfect and perfect, just like this. And now I have kind of a booklet and I can just Stick it to the booklet like this. And this pretty. Before we bring it all together, I want to cover up these cardboard parts. So I've cut several pieces of the same design paper and I'm using my glue stick glue again and just pour some glue onto the areas I want to cover. Yeah, normally I would put glue on the design paper pieces, but I can't quite control how much comes out here, so I want the cardboard to like 
get most of the the humidity or well the water of the glue so it won't drink all my paper don't know if that worked like that but in my mind it does so um yeah let's see and now we can just put it on here maybe a little, little bit in yes like this okay centerpiece It's a little bit too slim, but it's fine for now. I know you won't really see the inner parts anyway, but yeah, I'm I uh, I tend to fixate on details, so I want to make it pretty inside and out. Okay. Make it really stick. And yes, now we can bring it all together, just like this, or like this. Let's see which one's prettier. I think this one because, yeah, it has the nice flower on top. So this will be my top part. So um, I'm gonna put some glue on my shadow box. Uh, I have to be really careful with this one because this is not cardboard, it's cardstock and it will wrinkle if I use too much glue. But yeah, let's see, this should be quite enough. So I place it on, on the top part here. Yes, okay. I place it on the top part here. I push it in a little because I want a little bit more space up here. And you'll see why later. And then I press it down like this. And now I can just close my box and yeah, it's almost finished but don't you think this is so pretty okay and now you'll see why I wanted to it to stick over a little bit more here because of course we need something to hold it down to close it properly it's like this is what it will come open but I have a really nice pink ribbon and I want it to be the closing well the thing I close it with and for that I need some holes down here and here and let me just get my my hole punch and I'll be right back so I got my hole punch the ribbon's kind of thick so I'm using my oval shaped one um it's so loud like can you hear this It's very loud, so I put it aside and um, now I just mark the center of the box. I'm just gonna mark it here, here and also on the other side. Like this. And yeah, now I can just Try and punch out. Uh, let's see if I'm strong enough. I, I'll try and punch out. Oh come on! <laughs> it doesn't even fit through. Okay. No, it doesn't fit. Oh, this can't be happening. Okay, let's let's see. Let's get back to my good old crocodile. This will work. Yes, it does. Let's see if I hit the center. Like this, okay, maybe I'll, okay, this might look very ugly in the end, but I'm just gonna try it anyway. Okay. Yeah, it's not, 
it's not perfect um but yeah my oval one didn't want to work so let's see if i can no okay that's very unfortunate i'm afraid i'll have to pull the shadow box out again oh gonna be ugly very ugly but I hope it'll be fine because I, I'm gonna glue it, glue it back down again mm, come on Yeah, it's gonna be very ugly but um yeah it'll it, it'll be fine i'm just if i just keep telling me myself that it, it eventually will be i hope um yeah but let's see okay punch it out even uglier than the last one but at least uh, I've got them okay let's see okay okay I know it looks really bad right now but I've managed to push this one through but yeah you see it ripped my paper and it now looks really ugly but I won't let this little hiccup destroy my whole project I know it looks it looks really bad right now but I've got a backup plan now, so uh, I'm gonna patch this over with, and I'll do it with the same cardstock color as the box itself, so it will look like I've planned it, hopefully. So, um, yeah. Okay, so I've got two of those pieces of my cardstock, and I'm just wrap it around here, like this. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad, does it? Okay, and I'm gonna draw... I'm gonna trace the the opening. Yeah, it's kind of wonky, but um, yeah, let's see. Uh, punch it out with this one. Like this. And now, hopefully, if I put it on here, it won't look too bad anymore. Perfect. And remember, I will fill this with the ribbons so the inside's not as important. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do this on the other side as well. Okay, let's see, how does it look? Okay, not perfect yet, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how it looks once I filled it with the ribbon. Um, but yeah, I also want to round the corner, so I'll be back with my corner punch in a second. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna use the biggest one. Give it the... Okay. Okie dokie. Yeah, that looks way better. Whew, a lot of crafty mishaps today, but we'll work through it. First one down. It 
it's very annoying that the glue is like this. I might have to get a new one. But, yes. Okay. Okay, let's see. Almost at the same height. Just push it this one up a little and this one down or not. No, anyway. Like this. Yeah, it looks way better now, doesn't it? Just as I planned it. <laughs> okay. Okay, and now just get the shadow box back in. way better okay then take the ribbon and let's see how it looks with the ribbon inside hopefully way better way better yes and now we can just tie it down but not before I put in the little bunny isn't it cute really go check out Leah's page uh, it's DIY by Happy Mountain she has so many cute things like like this cute bunny and I'm always amazed by people who can crochet and stuff because I really have no hands for that. <laughs> yeah, it fits perfectly and now we can close it. Okay, now let's make a pretty little bow. And our beautiful little gift is finally finished. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe so you don't miss out on anything new. And also go and check out and follow DIY by Happy Mountain on Instagram.